Hello, I'm Catherine and I'm on a beach in West Sussex. We're thinking this week about the sorts of fasting that God gets excited by in Isaiah 58. It's not about withdrawing from suffering, but about advancing the kingdom of God. It's not about abstinence so much as generosity. In verse 7, I'm challenged to share my food with the hungry, open my home to the homeless, give clothes to those who've got nothing to wear, and not to refuse to help my own relatives. Jesus uses these same ideas in a story he tells in Matthew, in Matthew 25. The king is sorting out the good ones and the bad ones, the sheep and the goats. And he says to those on his right, enter you who are blessed by my father. And these ones are going into the kingdom of God because I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was homeless and you gave me a room. I was shivering and you gave me clothes. I was sick and you stopped to visit. I was in prison and you came to me. But master, what are you talking about, they say. When did we ever see you hungry and feed you thirsty and give you a drink? And when did we ever see you sick or in prison and come to you? And then the king will say, I'm telling you the solemn truth. Whenever you did one of these things to someone overlooked or ignored, that was me. You did it to me. So I want to pray for us as we fast with generosity. Father, we want to be fasting in ways that please you. And so, by your Spirit, today would you show us who is overlooked, who's been forgotten, and how you want us to be generous to them. And we're reminded not to refuse help to our own families. Give us uh, your special strength for that if we need that. Amen. And finally, I've been encouraged by something Oswald Chambers said. I've been thinking about this in the last day or so. It's ingrained in us that we have to do exceptional things for God, but we don't. We have to be exceptional in the ordinary things of life and holy on the ordinary streets among ordinary people. And this is not learned in five minutes. Thank you for sharing the beach with me. I hope your fasting uh, brings God's joy and peace today. <laughs>